Hey everyone, this is Ignacio from Cisco Tech. In this video, we are going to operate a Hyperflex Witness VM from a stretch cluster step by step. Select the appropriate Witness VM version that supports the Hyperflex Data Platform version you are operating to. Keep in mind that we perform this upgrade after upgrading the cluster itself. You can download the OBA file from the Cisco download page. After updating your cluster to the target version, ensure that it is in a healthy state. To check the cluster state, run the following command on any storage controller VM that's part of that cluster. Next, log into the Witness VM using SSH and execute the following command to stop the exhibitor service. After that, run the command ifconfig to gather the addressing configuration of the witness as we are going to need it later. From the same session, copy the exhibitor.properties file from the witness VM to another machine for backup. This can be another VM or your local machine, whatever works for you. Use the following command. Note that it may vary depending on where you are running the command from. For example, if you are running it from the destination machine, it will be a different syntax. After that, log out from the witness VM. Power it off and rename it to something you recognize. Confirm that the IP address is no longer reachable by trying to ping it. Now, go to vCenter or vSphere and deploy a new witness VM by following the usual steps to deploy a VM from an OBA file. Assign it the same IP address as the old witness. After it finishes, if the IP address is not reachable, you may need to remove the stale entries from the network directory. You can run the following commands to do so. Once it is reachable, log into the new witness VM using SSH and execute the following command to stop the exhibitor service. Now, copy the backup exhibitor properties file from the remote machine to the new witness VM. Use the following command on the witness VM. Note that you may need to replace the directory part. You can run these commands just to make sure the file got copied properly. Once you have done that, verify that the following same links are preserved in the new witness VM. If they are not available, execute the following commands to create them. Right here, you can see the syntax and the path to each individual file. In this case, it fails because the CM links are already there. Also, if you are updating your Windows VM2 version 1.1.1 or above, you run the following command to update the Windows VM exhibitor configuration. Now, to finish, start the exhibitor service on the new Windows VM by executing the following command.
And just to make sure you did everything correctly, run this command on an SSH session to the HX Cluster Manager IP. It may take a couple minutes for it to be online, but you want the output to be just like this one. And that's it. Thank you for watching.